Welcome to Motorboat's monthly practical pages, brought to you by Garmin. Today we're going to be looking at doing an oil and filter change on your boat. Changing your oil is a service item, typically it needs to be done every 100 hours or once a year. Um, you need to make sure you've got the right grade oil. Now if you look in your handbook that will tell you not only the grade of oil but also the quantity. The first thing you need to do is to warm up the engines and the oil within them. Um, if you don't do this, it's going to be very difficult to get the oil out because when it's cold it's quite viscous, quite thick. Now the best way of warming up the engines is to take the boat out for a run. Five, ten minutes um, of running under, under low will have the engines warm enough to get the oil out. It's not a particularly good idea to just leave the engine idling on the, on the berth. Uh, it's not good for the engines and it takes a long time to get them up to temperature. If you can't get the boat out for a run, the next best thing, providing the boat is well tied up and you've got the permission of the marina, is to just put it into gear while you're tied up on the berth. That'll put the engines under load and it'll get them warmed up nice and quickly. So it's going to take 10 minutes or so to warm the engines up, so uh, good time to have a cup of tea. Many engines have a pump mounted on them purely for the purpose of extracting the oil, and that's great if you've got one of those. Uh, but for the rest of us, and certainly probably for the majority of engines, we're going to need to suck the oil out of the oil, either the dipstick tube or a dedicated oil extraction tube. You're going to need something like this to do that, which is a vacuum oil extractor. These engines have got a dedicated extraction tube here, which we've connected the pump to. So all we need to do now is give it some, a few pumps, which will start the vacuum process. And we can see the oil is now coming out the tube. Let's give it a few more. There we go now. We can hear now that that's sucking air out, which means that we've got as much oil as we can out of that connection there. Now, it might well be that that tube doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the sump. So I can check how much oil I've got out. If I've got the full nine litres out, which this engine takes, I know we're fine. Um, if there's less than nine litres in there, then what I need to do is use a thinner tube, poke it down there to make sure I get right to the bottom of the sump and get the last of it out. Right, you need to get rid of the, uh, the old oil responsibly. Um, if your marina's got a disposal facility, you can just empty it into there. Um, alternatively, your local council tip will normally take old oil uh, and they'll recycle it. Oil filters shouldn't be put on that tight. Um, quite often you can just get them off by unscrewing them with your hand. If you do need to use an implement, there's a number of different ones. I've got three different types here. Um, and I'll often find that I'll try one, it won't work, try a different one. So two or three different ones, um, it's quite good to have them, gives you lots of options. We've loosened the filter, um, but before we spin it off, a little trick to do, because these filters are mounted horizontally, as you unscrew them, you're going to get some leakage, it's going to drop into the bilge. Get yourself a plastic bag, uh, preferably one like this, that hasn't got any holes in. I chuck in an old rag, an old towel, chuck that into the bottom of the bag, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold that and wrap it underneath the filter as I unscrew it. The filter's just going to drop into there with any, any oil that sort of leaks out, that's going to be soaked up by the towel, and then we can just seal that up and we can throw that away. Once you've got the old filter off, you need to make sure that this O-ring on the old filter has come away with the filter and it isn't still stuck on the filter housing. Um, if it does get stuck on it and you try and put another one on top, you will end up with an oil leak. So make sure that's come away with the old filter. Um, and here on the new filter, what we need to do is just get a little bit of oil on your finger and just smear a small amount of oil on the new O-ring and that just helps to, to lubricate it so that it doesn't stick when you're tightening it up. You do it up by hand and you only do it hand tight, you don't use any tools, so do it up until you feel some resistance and then maybe give it another half to three quarters of a turn and that's adequate, that's all it needs. All we need to do now is top up the engine with some fresh oil. So that's pretty much perfect. Well I hope you found that useful, thanks for watching.